Hello everyone and welcome. This is Jane from JaneLiberated.com. I am here once again to add value to your life by helping you overcome fear, shame, resentment and you will never get stuck again in life. How to activate your faith? Have you heard people complain that nothing works? No matter how hard they try, they don't see results. But one thing is certain, nothing works when you don't believe. You will not see results when you don't have faith after praying. That is why the Bible made us to understand in Hebrews 11 verse 1, faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. So to be able to activate your faith and begin to see results after praying, you need to pray and never have a doubtful mind. When you believe that you are going to succeed in life, when you believe you are going to get married, when you believe you are going to have those children, after praying, all you need to do is to relax is to have a strong and solid foundation on Christ alone because a lot of people want to see quick results and these have made them to run from place to place looking for urgent answers to their prayers. And the first teachers out there, they are making it so easy for them, promising them heaven and earth, telling them they can achieve anything if they sow seed, if they give money, if you bring um, a prophetic seed, you will have those children. I am here to tell you today, not until you activate your, your faith in Christ alone, meaning you have to believe in the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Christ. Why? Because Christ has paid all on the cross of Calvary. So the more you believe in the word of God, the more you will be determined to be patient and wait for God's time. Never be in a hurry. Never go and around looking for quick solution. All you need is yours already, but God is just waiting for you to activate that inner faith in you, to believe in his word, to believe that after praying, you need to be patient, sing praise and worship, worship him, have time. Personal fellowship with Christ is very important and that will calm your spirit. That will calm the urge to see the answer today, today. And I am here to tell you today that nothing works until you believe. A lot of people will also go from place to place believing that they have someone in their family tormenting them. I am not saying there are no bad people, but when your focus is shifted from the word of God and you begin to focus on the people that maybe they are not even after you, you believe they are the one disturbing you, meaning your faith is shaking. You have not activated that inner button because when Christ died for you and I, he made it clear on the cross of Calvary that it was finished. It is finished. Everything you have now, if you don't begin to look deep inside of you, you may not know that you are more than a conqueror. So when you pray for whatever you need, wait diligently. And in a time of waiting, is not a time wasted. In that period, begin to praise God, begin to thank Him for what you have not seen according to what Hebrews 11 1 told us, that the confidence, that faith is the confidence about what we hope for. Hoping, when you ask for a child, you believe you are going to have it. Why? Because it is your inheritance. God did not create any barren person. So don't believe that there is one thing disturbing you. It's just that you have not discovered that button that you need to press to activate that faith in you so that everything you ask for will begin to manifest in the physical. Today, I urge you to go back 
tore the very foundation in Christ. Read your Bible, fellowship with Christ, praise Him, worship Him, meditate, have time to listen and hear what God is telling you. And when you do this, your life will never remain the same. I hope I have succeeded in adding just another value to your life today. Please, if you are new to my YouTube channel, do subscribe, like and share this video with your friends. And don't forget, check the links in the description box to take you to my book, my website, my Facebook group called the Women of Destiny. It is private. We come together, we fellowship, we pray, and we discuss matters that can help us take our life to the next level. Do have a fantastic day, but remember, I am your sister in Christ. Love you all. Bye.